Welcome to your weekly pet talk, your monthly reminder that everything's gonna be okay. In case you're new here, let me do a quick introduction. My name's Christy. I've been doing a keto low carb lifestyle for over three years and I've dropped around 75 pounds. Main point of this video is to let you know that there are multiple different ways to do a keto low carb lifestyle. For those of you that may not agree with me, that's okay. This is strictly going to be my opinion. I am not a doctor or a healthcare professional and in all likelihood, the people that'll comment that I'm wrong aren't either. But this video is for everyone. Whether you're a beginner or you just need this reminder, a quick refresher, even an old pro like myself needs to hear statements like this on occasion and get that pat on the back let you know it's gonna be okay. So if you are struggling, you fell off the keto wagon, or you don't even know where to start, let's go over a few things. The first thing I wanna do is acknowledge that losing weight is hard. There are so many different factors that play a role on the fluctuations in weight. Autoimmune, thyroid, slow metabolism. Believe it or not, that is a thing. And so is a fast metabolism, but I was never that lucky. So yes, losing weight is not easy. Not nearly as easy as gaining weight. I feel your struggle because I've been there. So many of us feel that struggle. The closest thing I have found to that magic pill has been a keto and low carb lifestyle. This is something most YouTubers, articles online, and your research that you're gonna do won't acknowledge. It's not gonna acknowledge the fact that there are multiple ways to do keto. Keto is gonna be defined as getting your body into a state of ketosis so that you're burning fat as fuel. Even though there is a definition of keto, there is no set in stone rule book. Anyone telling you that you're doing keto wrong is in my opinion, hurting your process and also being naive. The point of my channel and my videos is to let you all know you have to find the journey that works for you. If that means you have to count every single macro, carbs, fat, calories, protein, then do you. For me, I consider myself doing a lazier form of keto. I'm still looking for a really good name for it. I think it's gonna be sustainable keto. And for me, I can't focus on counting every single macro. I can't let myself fall into that routine because then it becomes obsessive. For me, I have to have snacks. I have to have desserts and sweets. Of course, they're gonna be keto and low carb as well as type one diabetic friendly. But for Sally next door, it may be best for her to cut those completely out and that's okay. There are so many variations to this type of lifestyle. Don't let anyone tell you that you're doing it wrong. It's your journey. Just like you wouldn't let somebody tell you how to raise your kids, don't let somebody tell you how to eat. Unless they're your doctor, listen to your healthcare professional, but if you're not satisfied with his advice, find a healthcare professional that's gonna listen to you. I did learn that the hard way. My very first time trying keto, I remember it so well, mainly because I was miserable. In my head, I thought keto equaled only meat. So I was associating it with the carnivore diet. That's only one way to do keto. Do your research. As I always say, research, research, research. And that's what I ended up doing several months in. And I franken pieced keto together so that I could take the best of all low carb diets, pieced it all together to come up with what worked for me. And you can do the same thing for you. Don't be miserable. And that's why so many people 
give up on keto and low carb because they're depriving themselves. They're not doing it their way. They're being strict. They're sticking to this set of rules that they're not going to be able to follow for the next 30, 40, or 50 years, or even three months. I didn't last three months. If you are going into keto and low carb as strictly a way to lose weight and your plan is to drop that 50 pounds, then go back to the standard American diet, I got news for you and you're not going to like it. You are probably going to gain all of that back and then some. And that's just statistically speaking. You need to go into this as a complete lifestyle change. The lifestyle that's gonna work for you, of course. I feel like this is something we all need to hear and probably daily. Are you ready? Nobody's perfect. We're all gonna have that dessert that we weren't supposed to, that piece of birthday cake on occasion, that splurge meal at the Italian restaurant where you consume way too much pasta, or maybe you have four yogurts in a day like I did last night. Guess what? It's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean you throw in the towel, you give up. It means you acknowledge that you're not perfect. No lifestyle or weight loss journey truly is, no matter what you see online. You give yourself grace, you pick yourself up, and you get right back on track. Getting back on track when you fall off plan, that is going to be the key to success. Do not deprive yourself. I'm not saying to go on a month-long bender and eat everything that's not nailed down. What I am saying is enjoy the moments when they come around. Those special occasions. Sorry, got goosebumps. My oldest daughter is getting ready to get married and you better believe I will be trying that wedding cake. Keto is just about getting your body into ketosis, not about how many grams of fat you consume during the day. The most important thing to focus on is keeping your carb count low and you can go carbs or net carbs. For me, I always went net carbs until recently. If weight loss is your main goal like it was for me, I tried to stay around 20 to 25 net carbs a day, and that got my body into ketosis. It did not happen overnight, and that's okay. The weight loss and health journey isn't going to miraculously change your life overnight. You're not gonna just start dropping weight the next day. There will be times when the scale doesn't budge. We're in this for the long haul, not just until we lose 10, 15, or 45 pounds. It's about where we're gonna be next year and the next year, so be patient. Don't try those quick fixes. You're going to see so many influencers, creators, TikTokers telling you you need to consume exogenous ketones. They're lying to you and they're trying to get your money. You do not need any supplement to do keto successfully. What you need to do is limit that carb count. I know because I've lived it myself. Just how hard starting a new weight loss journey can be. You feel like you're giving up so much, but I promise you it gets easier. You're going to find recipes that are keto and low carb friendly that fit into this new lifestyle and take the place of all of those favorites you had when you were doing the standard American diet. I promise there are ways to make fudge, brownies, cakes, whether you want something salty or something sweet you will find the replacement that works for you. It's just gonna take time. And that's why we need to be patient, give ourselves grace, and keep picking ourselves up and moving forward because each day it's gonna get easier and easier. I know that recently the lifestyle and journey that I'm on has changed and may not be the same as yours, but we are all in this together. So whether you're just starting out or you have been with me since the beginning, just know, that my channel is here to help. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, and there's a Facebook group. I try to acquire as many discount codes as I can for you guys so that I can help save money. I want to make this easier for both of us and having this support group helps. So check out the description box for any of those links and make sure you join the Facebook group. Today's pep talk is brought to you because I care. And I want to change the way everyone looks at the keto and low carb community. Remember, you can do it. You've got this. I've got your back. 
follow before you go and hit that notification bell so that when I upload, you'll be alerted. I love you guys. I really do. And the only reason I continue to make these videos is because I want to help. I want you to know it's okay. You don't have to be perfect. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.